the path with net zero is not without challenges. There's growing consensus that hydrogen has a huge role to play as a solution to achieving net zero. Hydrogen is the best alternative right now for electrification into heavy industry and for powering the transportation sector. Hydrogen can be produced from several sources, but today it is largely produced from fossil fuels. Burns produce CO2, which is largely responsible for the greenhouse effect and global warming. With James technology, we start with fossil fuels and we capture the CO2 at the end. I've been in the business for around 26 years in various technology and commercial roles, and I found myself now looking after one of the most interesting and exciting parts of Johnson Matthews' gross aspirations. The technology that we're offering today enables us to produce low carbon hydrogen with the highest feedstock efficiency. Uh, so that means the lowest amount of natural gas for each amount of hydrogen that we're producing. That reduces the cost and also we are able to capture up to 99% of the CO2 that's produced and enables our customers to meet global emission standards. Low carbon hydrogen is based around autothermal reforming technology which introduces oxygen as well as steam to provide the heat for the reaction. Uniquely what Johnson Matthey will do is we're able to couple that with what we call a gas heated reformer. That enables us to recapture the heat from the autothermal reformer in the most efficient way. A number of very big names have already selected our technology for those projects. I am the lead process engineer on the H2 Northeast project for Johnson Matthey, which is a low carbon hydrogen plant for Kellas and SC Thermal. The industry in Tees Valley is responsible for about 64% of the local CO2 emissions. Today we're at the Cats Terminal. This is where about 20% of the UK's natural gas comes in for processing. And it's actually where the H2 Northeast project is going to be built adjacent to this plant. HD Northeast project will capture uh, over 97% of the CO2 that comes in from the natural gas and that will be uh, transported out to the North Sea. BP have also selected Johnson Matthews LCH technology to be the licensor for their H2 Teesside project also here in Teesside. The hydrogen produced by projects like H2 Northeast will be used to decarbonise local industry. So that's either power generation or also industry of products. A one gigawatt project, the kind of scale of project that we're involved with, using that hydrogen rather than using fossil fuels would save the equivalent emissions of taking around 250,000 cars off the road every year. Since early 2020, the UK was well ahead of the rest of the world, perhaps maybe two years ahead. The rest of the world is really catching up now. So pieces of legislation like the Inflation Reduction Act in the USA and similar legislation in Canada, as well as future carbon taxes across the world, are really encouraging companies to look at their emissions and they see hydrogen as a big way forward. There's a lot of projects in early phases through to a few that are already licensed and in engineering. I see every potential project as a problem to be solved. The Middle East is going to be a really important region for this technology uh, because they have access to large amounts of natural gas and places uh, where we can capture and store the CO2. It's a really good opportunity to work in the decarbonisation space. You can see what this plant's going to look like, the sort of scale it's going to operate on and the customers available to the hydrogen that's produced. It's a really exciting place to be for me. I am proud to be part of the GM team and even more hopeful about what our efforts today will mean for future generations.